ओके सो वेलकम बैक एवरी वन ना इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ सेरेबुलर लेजेंस सो बिफोर आई प्रोसीड विद दिस द फर्स्ट थिंग विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर इज दैट वेन एवर देर इज अ स्ट्रोक इन द सेरेबुलम दीज फॉलोइंग सिम्टम्स विल बी सीन दीज आर विजिबल सिम्टम्स दीज सिम्टम्स आर वट आई गो पुअर कॉर्डिनेशन एब नॉर्मल रिफ्लेक्सेस एंड देर मेनी मोर सिम्टम्स सो द रीजन दिस अकर्स इज बिकॉज ऑफ इम्पेयर फैसिलिटेशन and enhance inhibition within the motor cortex so this will lead to alteration of the coordination of movement because the main function of cerebellum is about coordination of movement so now let us discuss about the normal anatomy first about the cerebellum so always remember that this cerebellum has three peduncles so it has three cerebellar peduncles one is the superior the middle and the inferior so coming to the lobes it has uh, three lobes if we talk about the functional division of this cerebellum so these three lobes are the first one is the spinal cerebellum lobe the second one is the vestibulo cerebellar lobe and the third one is the ponto cerebellar lobe okay so remember that this vestibulo cerebellum lobe this consist mainly of the floccolo nodular lobe and this maintains the equilibrium the second one is about the spinal cerebellum lobe so this is anterior lobe mainly and this is concerned with uh, the unconscious proprioception and then is the ponto cerebellum now this ponto cerebellum is ma mainly the middle lobe and this is concerned with the coordination of fine movements okay so we will now study that uh, this cerebellum helps in coordination of fine movements so if there is any lesion then this will lead to alteration of the coordination of fine movements okay so let us see one by one if this is damaged then this will lead to alteration of all these things the first thing is about the dysmetria so the dysmetria is like the overshooting in the finger nose test the patient is unable to judge the distance so this is the dysmetria we can see clearly that he is unable to judge and the second thing is about uh, the patient is unable to draw a circle in the air so why because there is motor synchronization this one is actually altered the function of cerebellum is basically altered so uh, another thing which we can see is about the dysdiadocokinesia so the alternating hand movements here are disturbed so we can see here that the patient is uh, like unable to perform this uh, alternating hand movements it is uh, disturbed okay so this also shows that cerebellum helps in coordination of movements okay the rapid alternating coordination of movements so cerebellar lesions leads to altered alteration in the hand movements disturbed dystyo doco kinesia so another important sign to discuss here is about the intention tremor this is very much important because in basal ganglia lesion resting tremor or pill rolling tremor is seen but here in cerebellar lesions intention tremor is seen so what is intention tremor this occurs when you reach for something and your hand starts shaking so this is basically like if you are going to perform any kind of activity you want to pick up the apple or the pen then your hand starts shaking so this is the intention tremor okay and uh, another very important thing here to notice is about the gait so the ataxia of the extremities when we look at here this is a wide base cerebellar gait okay there is unsteadiness of the gait towards the side of the lesion so the cerebellar patient those patients who have this cerebellar lesions will be having a wide based ataxia gait okay so uh, also there like uh, uh, the gait of the patient will be disturbed we can clearly see here in this video so here we have discussed so many signs which are seen in cerebellar lesion another most important here is about the hypotonia that is the decrease in the muscle tone so the cerebellar lesion always remember this will cause hypotonia whereas the basal ganglia lesion this will cause hypotonia okay so these are very much asked in your usmles and your inicts exams okay so uh, i have this very simple mnemonic now this mnemonic is like danish so d stands for dysdiadocokinesia or dysmetria a stands for ataxia n is for nystagmus and uh, i is for intention tremor s stands for the uh, slurred or scanning speech and h is for hypotonia these are some of the signs which can be remembered but uh, another signs i have discussed clearly here in this uh, video 
so i hope that this uh, video these signs are very much important these are asked in your exams and also in your clinical cases you will see many of the uh, patients who have uh, this uh, cerebellar lesions and on this basis alone on this visible uh, symptoms we can easily diagnose these cases and then for confirmatory diagnosis we can go for like ct scans and mris we can go for different scans okay so this was all about the lesions of the cerebellum i hope that this video was useful share it with your friends okay thanks for watching guys